Welcome to my Let's Play of Ballistic Attack. This is episode two. And where I've reached is I've done the first four levels, which was in part of episode one. So this is now level five. And if you haven't seen episode one, well, I'd recommend going back to that to see the first four levels about how this game plays. I will start with a nice double gun there, slightly upgraded, and I will start the monsters coming. You can manually have the monsters manually kick off between waves. I just tend to automatically do it because, well, they really aren't that scary to require me to pause and think. Another double gun, which I will immediately put right about there and upgrade it. So, between these two double guns, they should be able to deal with most things for the moment and get me enough cash so I can start buying other weaponry shortly. hard to take down with double guns, but hopefully I'll be able to kill enough of them off that I can get a napalm gun. Now, now I can get a napalm gun. Stick it there. Great. You are upgrade. You are upgrade. Hopefully nothing will get through. Yep. the rocket gun up to this point. So depending on how this actually goes will depend on whether I use that next. Well, I am thinking I'm probably going to upgrade that so it does a bit more damage. And then I'm going to have to sit and wait while my three guns me enough money so I can get a rocket gun. Which is only another 600 off. This is what a rocket gun looks like. See if anything is close enough to set it off. That's what a rocket gun does. And I very much doubt anything in the next four waves will manage to get past the setup I've currently got. I will, however, upgrade it to make it go faster. Let's upgrade the rocket. as much as I can, just to make dealing of the last enemies more efficient. I need 1300 to upgrade the rocket gun.
maybe something will manage to get in range of the rocket gun before the end of wave 10. There again, maybe not. This rate. Maybe the combination of everything that's coming on managed to get. Yeehaw! Something actually managed to get in range of the rocket gun. And I, I built it, I spent all this money on it. I wanted to get some use. Now that's fully upgraded. So this took a total of four guns. All was basically fully upgraded. But as I was discussing in episode one, there is a slight balance from this game. It is too heavily weighted in favour of the player. Which means that you don't need to spend your time worrying about the enemy getting through so much. It's just a matter of, okay, what do I need to relatively efficiently deal with them? I still like this game, because the first time I played it was just fun. Which is why I'm doing a let's play of it. Unlike a lot of tower defense games that I've, I've played, that they were okay, but they weren't, weren't really fun. This one is still actually fun. I could, I suppose, get a fire gun if I wanted to at this stage. To make things even more efficient. But let's face it, as it is, they're not getting anywhere near my rocket gun. Okay, and here's wave... Wave 10 out of 10. I believe it's the next next level, level 6, where I tend to have a minor problem. I don't know why, but there's just one, one level which gives me minor problems. If I say minor problems, it once actually defeated me. Just the one. end for this lot. Yeah, so you could put a fire gun, a plasma gun, that's a plasma gun. Yeah. Afford a plasma gun, a fire gun. I haven't quite afford a turret yet. Although at this rate, if they keep coming like this, that one's just not too far off either. Effectively, one, I won this level using effectively three guns. The rocket gun I only used because I haven't used one up to this point in this let's play. So I thought, what the heck? I'm not quite enough money for a turret. Okay, now here's level six, which gives me problems. Don't know why. It just does. that there. I never find the optimal way of doing this, so I'll put that one there. Now of course wave one, I've just got to sit here and slowly accumulate some more money. I really need enough money for a napalm gun. Because I know the enemies that are coming, they're kind of hum human-like, but basically made out of fire. When I see those, that's when I've got a problem. Not these blue... These kind of look like the pencil trolls you used to have on the top of... The little thing you put on the top of your pencils. 
way back in the day, yes, yeah, so if you're ever old enough to remember those, you just get blue head one and pink head ones. Right, how much? Oh, not quite enough. Kill one, finish one of them off. Right, now we'll put a napalm gun there for anything that gets past. And I can give you the basic upgrade. Give you the basic upgrade. And I can upgrade you again. Should help. I'll upgrade you a third time. That one, but okay. Oh, good, good enough for sniper tower. Now, if we put a sniper tower about there, cover both approaches, I don't have quite enough cash to upgrade it, or I will have in a second. Okay, this time I think we've got this one right. At least so far. Let's just not get past that napalm gun, they've still got to get past the sniper tower a second time. These are the things I have trouble with. Napalm guns aren't that much good against them either. I'm wondering is what energy gun work? Oh, just. Yeah, they're, they're the ones that normally beat me. tower there for the moment, I was thinking of selling it for a second, but... Sell him. Ship I got. If I sell any of you, how much do I get? 375, not enough. Okay. 
Okay. We'll put one of those there. In case something gets past. What a fire gun does. It's kind of like napalm, but constant. It does a reasonable amount of damage, but what if these guys weren't on fire already? flame gun that's that upgraded as well as the sniper tear and that first gun this one is effectively finished completed I believe. No? Yes, that was level 6. And I said I was going to do level 5, 6 and 7 in this episode. So I will try and be a man of my word. I'll put that there for now and see what comes out. Fine. I should be able to kill 5 of them. Another double gun in if needed. This looks like it's going to be necessary. things like this tower defense game, putting these guns on a corner is a lot better than putting them on a straight. Just purely because you get a lot more to shoot the enemy. there and that should take care of most of these guys.
and this is my well, it's not my problem with this game. This is where the game is less fun for me. I now got past the level I tend to have more trouble, most trouble with, and I'm now on this level, and I don't feel any concern that I'm going to get beaten. Put a sniper tower there. That way, it covers, if something does get past me, it covers that bit of the that bridge or a bit over the water. Should rack up some, some money. So I'm getting 30 money for every one of these I kill. Sniper. Depends how fast he fires, I guess. He missed. A useless toad sniper. Right. Put a rocket gun there. Well, that's a rare occurrence for me to let something throw on this level. But okay. Another nicely overpowered weapon. This one being so powerful, they're not even really getting onto the screen before they get killed. Oh, the little lizard did. Now, effectively, all my other guns are redundant. Oh, my rocket gun actually fired. Well, just to speed things along, I might as well upgrade that gun. And that take care of level seven. And this is what I mean about the balance problem. One plasma gun, so powerful, nothing got past it. And that was loud in my ears. Okay, so that's going to do it for episode two of. I what it's called now. Ballistic Attack? Ballistic Attack. 
Next time round it will be levels 8, 9 and 10, well, depending on the timing of them. Certainly should be 8 and 9, depends how long that takes me, whether or not I do level 10 in episode 3 or that gets an episode 4. But as always, I hope you enjoyed, found it interesting or different, and hopefully I will see you down the road.